in the eyes of visitors. Asheville has many claims to fame, but the latest exposure will not be in a tourism brochure anytime soon. News 13's John Lee joins us now. And John, a new top 10 list gives us a very different picture of Asheville. That's right, Tammy. Just the latest snapshot of the hunger problem that some say is only getting worse. A potential postcard picture at every corner. Visitors seeing Asheville through a very different lens. So, so far, um, this is a nice town. The place where honeymooners sightsee near the fountain, overflowing with opportunities. They like to splash. But with every scenic photo, there's a picture many of us overlook. Asheville is also on the map in terms of hunger. Seriously, there are a lot of restaurants I heard. Everybody said to go to Asheville, there are a lot of restaurants. But dining choices are the least of our problems, which is why the mission at Mana Food Bank is so daunting. We come here every week. Big Ivy Community Center of Barnardsville loads up at Mana for help helping others. It's a big need in the community, you know, for us to help feed the families that's just not, is struggling. A simple survey question sums up a complex problem. Is there a time in the last 12 months when your family didn't have enough money to put food on the table? And Asheville, of those 100 cities that were part of that survey, we rank number nine in food hardship. Take Part spotlights the Land of Sky on its website, a hunger list that also includes tourism hubs like Orlando, New Orleans, and Las Vegas. One in five here say they struggle with food hardship. That's a number where we don't want to be. The need is more greater now than it ever has been. Asheville's tourism appeal belies the issue you don't see in postcards. A picturesque place with an ugly dilemma. Sometimes when you look out over those mountains and you think, you know, this is inc an incredible place, you forget about the people that are living out in those hollers and people that are really struggling. And some things will only get tougher, she says. As of today, 3,000 people in western North Carolina no longer have unemployment benefits.